black car. So uh, this is a 2017 Volt. This is actually one of my vehicles. And black cars are very difficult to keep clean and to keep detailed because you can see every uh, imperfection, every little scratch or scrape. When you have a car like this 2017 Volt that is built around very streamlined aerodynamics, you'll also notice a bit of wear from air buffeting up front, uh, scratches from the dirt that's carried through the air, and, and you'll notice that. And if you, you like your vehicles like I do, and you're proud and you want to keep them extremely clean and detailed, you're going to need to take some care after the vehicle. So uh, what you're not going to see in this video is we've actually clay barred the entire car and for that we've actually used, I'll get a little closer so you can see, we've used the Chemical Guys Clay Luber with the Chemical Guys Clay Bar, their medium clay bar, uh, because this car had a few contaminants on it so we went with the medium itself and that allowed us to get the paint nice and clean, nice and smooth, so that we can actually put some wax on it. Now, black cars are very particular. Part of that is when you use regular wax and it hazes with a white residue, and you go to buff it off, you can get some of that residue in the, some fine scratches and nooks and crannies, and on a black car, you really notice it. On other colors, not necessarily, but on black, absolutely noticeable. So a product I've used in the past, as I have a couple of black cars, is the Turtle Wax Jet Black Kit. This is actually a really nice kit. I'll bring it up a little closer so you guys can see. This kit has worked out well, formulated for black cars. It actually has a black pigment. And in the kit, very reasonable, at the time of filming, this kit can be purchased from Canadian Tire, Amazon. You're somewhere in around the $25, $26 range. So very reasonable itself. And what you're going to get in the kit is a pre-wax cleaner. So that'll be our first step. Then you actually have a Carnuba wax. And it's a Brazilian Carnuba wax, so a very good wax. And you also get a couple of the black spray detailer. So this is also good in between waxings just to go over, you know, give it that little extra coat, give it that really glossy finish. That's just really handy. So a lot of value in the kit. You'll also get a couple of applicators and, and it's all a black pigment. You'll need to supply your own um, cloths we like to use some nice fine microfiber cloths when we do any kind of detailing work. And what I, will, what I will do in this video is in a moment I'm going to come over and grab that camera and actually get up close to the paint so you can see some of the imperfections and the fine scratches that occur just with regular use, especially in the Canadian climates. Because in the winter you get ice and snow and, and that can be abrasive on the paint as well. And then we'll take you step by step and then show you the final results. So let me get the camera here and we'll show you the paint up nice and close. So what we'll do is we'll bring you down here on an angle. You can just see a bit of the imperfections and the swirls. You know, when you stand further back, you don't really notice it, but you'll notice it as you get up nice and close. And now is we'll show you how we, do, how we place our pre-wax cleaner. Take our pre-wax cleaner. You want to make sure it's shaken up really well. Now be very careful when you're working with this because as you are working with it, it has a black pigment. So if you spill it on yourself or various areas, 
you have that potential to get the black on it. Now I like to put a few dabs on our applicator and then just working in, I like to work in straight lines. Just put it on there, get really good coverage. Don't miss any spots. And then you'll leave it to haze up. Make sure I'm doing it in small amounts so we're not oversaturating it and that we're also getting really good coverage here. And even though you're working on a black car with a black tint in the wax, it's very easy to tell the areas that you've covered. So this will just give you a little idea as it's already starting to haze. What we'll do is we'll take a break, I'll do the entire car, we'll bring you back to show you how to remove it and then what the next step will be. Okay, we've had some time, we've actually taken the uh, black pre-wax cleaner, applied it to the entire vehicle. Now a little item that I forgot to mention in the earlier stage of the video, you're going to want to have a glove when you're using a tinted type of wax. Uh, It'll just make things nice and clean and easier. So we've applied the cleaner wax, or the pre-wax cleaner, I should say, to the entire vehicle itself. Now what you're going to want to do after it's hazed, which we've given it enough time, you can always check it with the good old finger test. You're just going to want to take your microfiber cloth and take it along and just take off that coating. And then we're going to move on to our second step. So I like to go back and forth, flipping the cloth around because you're going to notice it's going to pick up that tint. Now what's nice with this pre-cleaner is that it's tinted as well. So as you're putting it on and it's helping to take any light contaminants off, it's already helping to start filling in some of those fine scratches, etc. And that way you're going to get a much better product. Already, I don't know if you can see from that angle, but already we're starting to see that glossy shine coming off the car already. So what we'll do is I'm going to take some time, remove it from the rest of the car, We'll come back and we'll show you the next step, which is actually going to be applying the Carnuba wax. Okay, so, so, sure. so we have buffed off all the pre-cleaner wax, or the wax pre-cleaner, sorry, I should say. And, you know, this is why you want to have a glove. And just to give you a, a little idea, right, as you buff it off, that's what you're going to look like compared to the good side. Uh, so typically what I do as I'm buffing off what we've applied, I'll flip to a clean side and then use that to do a finish, a shinier buff. You'll notice already you should be seeing much more of a gloss, much more uh, cleaner looking car. And as we move through the steps, you're going to see more and more of that. So next... What we will do, I'm going to fold this around as we put it down here. We want to move to our black carnauba wax. You want to give it a good shake. Again, being careful with it because of the black, black tint. And take this. Just sometimes when it's not your first time using the wax, you'll have a little bit of a buildup on the paper side. So we've taken that off and very similar, what I like to do is a few dabs 
of the wax on our applicator. Dab out a couple of spots and apply our wax. We want to have, you know, you don't want to put too thick of a coat. You want to have a nice even coat. Don't miss anywhere. But also don't go too thin because then you're really getting no protection for, for the car and you're not filling in any of the scratches or swirl marks that you'll typically get on a black vehicle. So better to work in smaller pieces and make sure you have a good coating. Now of course when you first start and your applicator's a little drier, you're going to have to dab a little more wax from time to time. As you know, typically you've gotten past the hood, you will find the applicator is much moister and you'll be putting less wax. So that just gives you a little idea for the wax application. What I'm going to do, rather than bore you with the entire car, I'm going to finish off the car. Typically I like to do hood, roof, work from our driver's door to the back, do the passenger doors to the back, front bumper, rear bumpers. And that gives me really good coverage and then I do the removal, the buffing in, in that same order again. So we'll get the car all finished up with the wax, we'll give it some time to haze, and typically by the time I get done the entire car, our hood's ready and pretty much the side panels have hazed up nicely so we can start working around. Fairly quick process overall, uh, especially if you know don't work in direct sunlight, maybe inside your garage, you've cleaned it, the car is cool to the touch. Uh, right now we're working in the winter and we're lucky enough to have an indoor bay to be working here as you can see our fine friend the coachman Murata here next to us. Uh, so a little car like this in a big bay makes for a very easy job. So I'll bring you back in a little bit. We'll show you what it looks like when it's hazed up, some of the removal process, and that way you can get a good look at what the Turtle Wax Jet Black, Jet Black Kit is like and how it works. And then in our final steps, we'll show you. Okay, final so step. we've applied our wax to the entire car. We've given it a little bit of time to haze. Basically, as we've made our way around, it's pretty much hazed up, it's ready to go. Uh, so for this, to buff off the hazing, um, what I like to do is I like to have two rags. You can use the one from the pre-cleaner if you like, of course, the clean side. The reason I like to use two is what I'll do is take my brand new microfiber and I'll go back and forth with it. And of course, you're going to want to change some locations. You want to give it a bit of a, a shape. But with the second one, I can actually, if, if you're really good at it, you can actually remove the heavy portion off and then go back. Give it a quick little buff without having to flip around the cloth. Already you're going to start to see quite a difference. You know, every time we do that next step, it really enhances the shine and starts to fill in a whole group of those little um, scratches, etc. So you should be able to see on the camera here. Now what we're going to do is polish up the entire car. Um, also, what they suggest, if you like, is we mentioned that you get the black spray detail. So to help remove this, you can actually give it a couple of squirts or you can actually squirt it on your cloth and then back and forth with the detailer and it really helps to pick up. So we'll show you here. As you go down, you'll notice how much easier it is to buff off that haze from the wax when you use the spray detailer. And at the same time, it's essentially giving a little extra shine and, and coating to the car as well. And this quick detailer is also nice. So 
you're planning to go out, you've washed the car, and it's looking pretty good, but you really just want to polish it up nicely, spray it a little bit like I've done here, go back and forth with it, and then what I would do, of course, take that second cloth and just give it a nice little buff, and it's it's a quick detailer to keep the car looking spectacular all the time. So I'll go ahead, finish the entire vehicle, and we'll bring you back. We'll, we'll bring you to take a close-up look at the car so you can really see the difference that's come out. Okay, so we finished buffing the entire car. And again, what we did was we used a little bit of the spray detailer and just to give you a quick demo, imagine if this was all hazed over, you just give it a few sprays, take your cloth, it actually helps pull that um, hazing off, and then you would take a clean cloth, as I mentioned, I like to work with two, and go back over and give it a good buff. And that way, you've got a result that has a beautiful shine, really smooth uh, finish itself. Sorry, I'm a little particular now. I've got a fingerprint. Um, beautiful finish, really smooth, well protected. Now, really, the proof in the pudding is going to be what does it look like up close. So I'm going to come grab the camera and bring you guys up closer. So that you can take a look compared to what it looked like before. You can definitely see the results. You don't see the scratches as much. I mean you can actually see in the reflection of the paint now we're actually seeing the overhead fan that's running. Where before we could see this light, the overhead light weren't an issue, but you didn't really get that reflection. So just to give you an idea, you know, as we come down and really get a good look, it's actually done a really nice job. And just to give you some other points of view on the car, again, you can see it has that really wet look, you know, just waxed, and it's gonna keep that look for a while. It's gonna repel the water and just give your paint a really nice finish. So if you have a black vehicle and you've struggled with different waxes, you know I would take a look at this jet black kit by Turtle Wax. I've used it on several vehicles and it's always given me really good results. Uh, there's a few products on the market by a few other competitors as well that I haven't personally tested, but I've heard do some really good jobs. But I can tell you from first experience, and you can see it here, that the uh, Turtle Wax Jet Black Waxing Kit does work, gives good results, and uh, at $25 a kit, it's actually pretty reasonable. So if you liked the video, please click the like button. We'd love to have you as a subscriber on our channel, and you'll be notified of new reviews that come up on whether it be products for your automotive detailing, uh, car reviews, as you can see here, motorhome. If you want to check out some of our motorhome reviews, feel free to look at our page. You can even go to our sister site, Bella Vista RV and we have hundreds of coaches that have been uh, reviewed. Uh, so this is Bruno from, from Arvine TV saying thank you for viewing the video. We look forward to seeing you back at our channel and make sure that you live life to the fullest. Take care.